They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching me. It's interesting that her paranoia map lines up with pretty well every location I've bought something from. Uh, and seen aliens, I guess. <laughs> in all reality, she wasn't crazy. I sold a lamp to an alien not 15 minutes ago. What's up guys, welcome back to Barn Finders, that game where you sell a bunch of stolen stuff so that you can earn dirty money, and then you spend that dirty money to buy legal stuff, which you can then sell for clean money. Like, I know there are a lot of people out there that claim this is money laundering, but like, Uncle Billy doesn't even own a washing machine, so don't they look foolish? I refuse to believe there's a single court in this country that would argue that this man does laundry. Like, any kind of laundry. Now, Uncle Billy, the whole joke of you disappearing at the beginning of every episode before he could say anything, it's getting old. So, so how about Damn, you just I slur some wisdom our way? Smashing things with hammer, fix them. Try it out. That's actually what I was about to go do. Somehow, a lot of you guys are sharing a train of thought with Uncle Billy. I thought his train of thought would be more of a caboose, but... A lot of you guys commented on the last episode saying that you want to see me spend a little bit more time around the store. You know, fixing stuff up, cleaning stuff, selling it for a profit, interacting with all the weird customers, you know, things like that. And I think I have to do that at the start of this episode, because I'm pretty sure we're at the use dirty money to buy legal things part of the whole operation. <laughs> Which means I'm going to have to sort through all this crap and figure out what's good and what's going to get me in trouble. We do have a washing machine! Well, there goes that whole joke. <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me. We need to sell this thing right away. I should probably mention I'm well aware that money laundering doesn't have anything to do with washing machines, but they don't know that. We operate out of the South. Like, Uncle Billy got a parking ticket and the judge who sentenced him was wearing duck camouflage. <laughs> There we go. It's just best to play it safe, okay? We have a fully operational and totally incriminating washing machine that needs to go. Uncle Billy, I found a second washing machine in our inventory. Are you trying to get us in trouble? Like, honestly, I can't go to prison. I have a pretty oh. mouth. And I can't just fart vanish like some people. It looks like that's all the fixing and cleaning that I need to do right now. Like, I'm kind of hoping that these two things are the first to sell, and especially before any secret agents or local police show up. But other than that, you know, we have a wide assortment of zombie arms, as well as junk. I don't know. Oh, speaking of junk, we might be able to sell something on the internet. Right? Uh, old Mr. Enos wanted to get that piece of armor. Pack and send that, 700 bucks, easy peasy. And then hopefully we have another job, Studley Rambler. Ooh, comics, finally something I actually know about. This barn was owned by the Miller family. They took a piece of an old mine of their land as their own, but luckily for all Americans, they never found anything. But old drunk nuts Boris Miller had some valuable comics. Can you sell me if you find any? Ah, there is a special Bed Wars event there. Hurry up. I hope that someday I'm referred to as old drunk nuts. Is there like a prerequisite comic collection? Because I'm probably getting there. I've got a lot. Let's see where exactly we're going. River Rock Barn. Surprisingly, for a game called Barn Finders, I think this is the second barn we've been to. Oh, that's not good. We need at least $8,000 for this auction? I've got 900 bucks in washing machines. Where did the washing machine go? It was right here a second ago and we're closed and yet people are coming in and I have money. Did somebody just come in and buy it? Did you make a sale, Uncle Billy? Cause I refuse to believe that. Uh, hello there, you'd like to buy the, the mannequin? Okay, uh, let's see, we're gonna have to haggle a little bit because boy oh boy am I gonna need uh -huh. a lot of money. I don't think I've seen $8,000 in my uh, entire yeah. redneck life. How we're gonna get that much, I have no sweet clue. What is it that you want? There's a whole lot of junk here. Knives! You look like the kind that shouldn't be trusted with knives, but sure, uh, let's just haggle ourselves up to... Mmm, crap. No, no, you're gonna have to pay more. I know it doesn't make any sense, okay? I know when you come into a store and there's a $40 price tag, you shouldn't have to pay $44. <laughs> 
especially when we don't pay taxes around these parts, but it's just the, the way that it is. Okay, just get your weird noodle arms away from me. 1300 bucks. Where is Uncle Billy? And where is that washing machine? Did he run off with it? So help me God. I mean, if we could sell the boat, that might be like a thousand dollars right there. I think we might be able to pull this off. It's, it's just gonna be real difficult. Can I? Okay, there. Now the sign is open. So any customers who come in will actually have a reason. Okay, where is it? Did, are you hiding it in here? We have to get rid of it. You can't just run from your problems. I really don't feel comfortable selling you a crossbow. Especially after you gave me one of these. So, like, maybe we could just send you on your way? Would that be... Okay, okay, just don't don't get pissed. Stomp your feet at me here, fine. You got a pretty good starting offer, but I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. You keep it coming. 53 bucks, not bad, but... I don't want to anger her, but at the same time... Wait, that was in the green! What... What do you mean that's your best offer? Okay, fine, fine. Again, I'm not gonna anger you. I wish you would stop threatening me. Joke's on her, I didn't sell her any arrows, I suppose. <laughs> you want, oh, I was hoping you would finally take a zom key arm. I'm never gonna sell these friggin' zom key arms. <laughs> a dog leak. I don't even know what that means, but I'll take an extra six bucks for it. Not too bad. Sold. Thank you. I guess, can I even replace that? Do I have more stuff? I sure don't. That's not good. So this is all the inventory I have to make eight grand. Good luck. Who comes to a store planning to steal a house plant? Like, I I'm gonna roundhouse bag tag you so hard that you'll vaporize. Oh, the happy you guys didn't see that. Ma'am, I hope I'm not being too forward here. You know, I'm sure you're a fantastic <laughs> guitarist or fisherman. Fisher woman? Either way, could I interest you in a washing machine? Oh, that titty sweat's not gonna take care of itself. <laughs> Come on, please, just help me out a little bit. That's not helping, that's the opposite of helping. There we go, okay, fine. Just take this and, and, and come right back, please, please. I got plenty of guitars, sir, do you want a guitar? Oh, you want a knife? Okay, well, I'm happy that that random lady that keeps coming in here buying weapons and threatening me didn't get it. Thank Christ, somebody actually wants to buy this thing. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Uh, you have no idea how desperately I want to move this, but at the same time, you're still going to have to pay out the nose. <laughs> no exceptions. Just keep forking over those haggles. It doesn't matter how desperate I am. This thing is uh, great at uh, cleaning up your cash. You, get any ca you won't have any cash after this is all said and done. $239. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, that's probably not good. This is why you don't use hover tables to fix furniture. Please, please just calm down. Please, I need this. I need this. Come on now. Oh, oh. Okay, um, okay. Are we good? I can't tell. Are we good? Can somebody please inform me whether or not we are good? I think I broke re- I'm gonna leave it. Screw it. There's customers coming in. They want to buy little stuff. It's better that I actually sell little stuff. You're back again. Of course you are. And of course you want another weapon. Why am I constantly having to deal with you buying stuff that can shoot and stab me? Okay, come on, come on, come on. As long as it's not an arrow, then I think we're probably in the clear. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to sell that. 300 bucks is- we're getting there. I gotta say, I've already earned a lot more than I would have expected, and I can't believe I'm gonna sell a zom key arm. I mean, uh, very collectible, ma'am. You're, you're gonna be super happy, especially if you give me just a little bit more money. There we go. Four, every four dollars counts. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a chair that's currently breaking space and time. You okay over here? Can I, uh... Oh, that's 500 bucks right there. Come on. Why can I mark it for transport? That doesn't make any sense. You cannot be serious. How does marking something for transport put it on the roof? I can't even get it down. Oh, uh, like, could you maybe deal with that? Like, put your rocking chair over there, get up on the roof, or deal with the customers? Like, I know both are kind of difficult when you're drunk, but at the same time, oh. Wait, you're not even gonna buy anything. You're not a customer. Yes, it is a nice shop. Now, get out. What I'm talking about. Hello again. Oh, you'd like a new hat. Oh, we might be able to help you with that. 
Do you think you could help me? You look like a pretty muscular young lady. Maybe give me a boost up on the roof. I got a chair to get back. <laughs> I can't believe that. How am I gonna hardcore parkour my way up there? Honestly, because I, I broke all of the crap around here, so I have nothing to climb up on, unless something like this would work. Uncle Billy, are you actually on the job right now? You think maybe you could, uh, ooh, okay. Oh, I'm so close. I, I, I could almost get it. I could, I just feel it. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. Come, there we go. That's some, shh, get this thing's bouncy. Okay, now, fix. Ooh, we're good. We are good. We're just gonna fix all of the little broken bits. <laughs> I'll go with you in just a moment, sir. Hold on. It's just currently dealing with haunted furniture. That, that, that's all we need. If we can sell this, we're good. This is worth like 500 bucks. Oh my god. No. What's with all the non customers? Okay, first of all, you're not going to steal a zombie arm. Get out of here. Second of all, you're not a customer. Do you have some special items? I mean, I got a haunted chair over there. It was just on top of the roof. For you, $1,000. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the kind of ass that can tame a haunted chair, sir. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, am yeah. more than happy to sell this to you. It's called Red Passion, and it may or may not turn you yeah. inside out in your sleep. It's going to cost you maybe six or seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we might be able to get this up to seven hundred if I get it just oh, right. Yeah. My haggling is right on point, I'm telling you. Six hundred, seven hundred and twenty five dollars oh, sold. Oh. And just like that, ninety five hundred bucks. And we're closed. I, I sold it all, and it just barely made do. Well, if that's the case, I have to be able to win this auction, right? Uh, we've already accepted the job, and we can go right there. It's probably for the best we don't tell Uncle Billy we have like $9,000 right now. You know, he's been droning on about this vacation to Hawaii this entire time, and I don't have the heart to tell him that could get us there. So what do you think is gonna be weird about this place? Because there's gotta be something. We've robbed from secret agents and aliens, uh, giant alligators and haunted totems, ghost witches, uh, love dens, cults. There's no way this is just gonna be a barn full of comics. I don't suppose you scouted the area beforehand, did you? Like, I, I know it's probably difficult when your vision is constantly doubled. <laughs> Just take whatever you saw, divide it by two, and, and fill me in. I have done heard there is a mine nearby. Right. The email did mention something about some kind of mine. So maybe there's going to be more to this than just the burn. Maybe there's something underneath. Is it mole people? Are you about to sell me a burn full of comic books and mole people? Because so help me God. <laughs> it is not what I need right now. Yeah, let's start the auction. Okay, here we go. I got enough money to win this. It's just a matter of whether or not people bid crazy. I I'm just going to sit back and wait. Let them do their thing. I'll sweep in at the last moment and get it for hopefully exactly $8,000. I don't want to spend more than I need to. And I swear to God, if Uncle Billy ends up bidding, I'm going to... Punch him right in his stumbly face. Come on now. We got this. 5250. That's not too bad. Uh 6250. When exactly should I cut in? Probably around around now, right? 8250. Right right here. You can't go any further than that because Okay, yeah, that's too much for him. But he's over eight thousand dollars. Which means no one should be bidding. Okay, good. I thought they're, they're chirping me. They're, they're calling me an idiot, greedy, and stuff like that, but that's perfectly fine. As long as they're not putting up more money, I'm happy. If there is some kind of mine, I don't think having daylight is going to make any difference, so I'm going to check out the barn while the sun is setting. Hopefully, there are comics in here. That's what I was promised. <laughs> oh, this does not look particularly promising. You'll never find my secret Bunker? Oh, uh, what? Oh, he was crazy. Yeah, you'll never find my secret bunker. You know what? Not talking about the secret bunker is usually the first step to no one finding your secret bunker. <laughs> Days to the US secret space fleet arrival. Interesting. Just gonna go ahead and uh, take your hat, I suppose. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I'm literally robbing corpses. What's become of me? This dude was sitting in a barn for years, counting down the days until the US secret space fleet arrived. Meanwhile, the aliens were already here, buying stuff from my store and doing the Macarena. <laughs> you gotta feel bad for the guy, right? They're watching me. I don't think they are. I don't think they care about you in the slightest. They have so many better things to do. I, I, I'm not finding a whole lot here to sell. Nothing of particular interest. I found a couple of chairs and not much else. Fox is on the watch. Oh, I, I saw the fox, yeah. <laughs> he is certainly watching. Oh, oh, okay. Um, that's a thing. I mean, it shouldn't really surprise me. Again, I've interacted with them enough, but <laughs> he was just shy of missing that. Did you see that, Fox? Okay, good. That means you can come with me now. I'm seeing some indications that there may have been cow abductions happening here. You know, we've got the signage, <laughs> as well as the fact that there just aren't any cows, except there is cow poop. Uh, do I really want to be digging in this? And, you know, the whole UFO that flew overhead, that, that's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> Oh, it's a vacuum. Do I really want a cow poop covered vacuum? I mean, someone will. <laughs> I don't necessarily need to want it. Where do you think that mine would be? Can I take this? Oh, yes, please. We got ourselves a tractor. No aliens allowed beyond this point, huh? Something tells me they didn't come halfway across the universe to obey your signage. They're here to probe, and they will have anuses. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we'll get all this crap out of the way. That definitely looks like a secret bunker to me. Yep, that's a fallout shelter for sure. I just got to get all these rocks out of the way. Oh, okay, this axe was well worth the money. <gasps> Would not have expected it to be able to do that. Awesome. Oh, yes, please. This is so cool. What are the odds that crazy old coot would have booby traps? Is it just a matter of opening it? Okay. Didn't expect it to be that easy. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching me. Are they now? Well, uh, hopefully they're watching you and you're not watching me as I steal your sander. Actually, no, it's my sander, right? Because this is technically my bunker now. I legally purchased it. Ha, try to find key cards, you stupid aliens. Okay. This guy was making some real bold assumptions. Like, not only that the aliens can read English, but also that they would follow the signs. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Oh. Day nine. They called me insane. That's why I've been here for more than a week. It's just me and Mr. Fox now. Wait, was that a lady? I never actually thought that it could be a woman. I just assumed that it was a crazy old man. Okay, uh, we, we get a key card. We're getting a duck noise. Assume that means we're wrong. Okay, well then let's try. Uh, oh, oh, I probably need the power back on. Sorting through all this crap definitely took a hot minute, so I didn't even really find anything worth selling or showing you guys. The power tools and beer and beans and stuff like that, but I got into the main room, which is interesting, to say the least. <gasps> but there's still a whole bunch of doors that I can't get through. I, I need a green key card, I need a yellow key card, I need a purple key card, the bathrooms, nothing in there. Oh, I, uh, Found us a vending machine. Didn't expect to see that down here. <laughs> All right, that might be worth some decent money, but key cards, not so sure about. Can I take the projector? No. It's just cycling through a, a whole lot of, wait a second. Yeah, that, that was a little suspicious, and that's a little suspicious, and that's a little suspicious. Okay, you know what, lady? I'm picking up what you're putting down. You're making a believer out of me. I saw a green fireball on the sky. Oh, did you now? Uh, not here. What's not here? Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a yellow Day key card. This bunker leads to my family mine. 
Grandma always told Dad that all that carbon dioxide would melt our brains like pudding. When this war is over, Mr. Ox and I are going to open this mine once again. Oh, I feel bad. I don't really want to sell Mr. Fox now because he's sentimental and terrifying. Uh, we got what? Is that a blue or a yellow key card? You, uh, I'm going to assume yellow. I pop you in here. Then we find ourselves a whole lot of crazy. Huh. Yeah, this isn't really what I was looking for, but... I could probably sell some of this crap. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're watching me. It's interesting that her paranoia map lines up with pretty well every location I've bought something from. Uh, and seen aliens, I guess. <laughs> In all reality, she wasn't crazy. I sold a lamp to an alien not 15 minutes ago. I can't say I've seen any spaghetti monsters, though. That one's definitely new. Is there anything useful in here? Here we Day go. We got a red key. The space fleet never came. I'm willing to go outside. Naked, but not afraid. Maybe I can see the sun one more time. You go out naked, it's just going to make the probing easier for them. You really gotta wonder how many beans and beers the human body can consume before bad things happen. I mean, I know she passed away, but we don't know from what. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Day 189. Yesterday, Mr. Fox was contacted by a secret space fleet organization. They should be able to rescue us. Mr. Fox also likes to hide our key cards just for fun. Such a character. <laughs> You think Mr. Fox was doing that before or after being taxidermized? <laughs> a lot of questions to answer. We've got two more rooms that we can get to. Well, I managed to find a couple of valuable items in the kitchen, you know, a coffee maker and some other random crap, but nothing that we really Day need. Today, Mr. Fox was very sick. Symptoms of diarrhea, dehydration, and fecaloid vomit. During our sleep, they poisoned our food with their neurocognitive neural weapons. But we don't need food. Our genes are strong, like Dad used to say. Uh, what? I was making a joke about the whole pre-taxidermy thing, but I don't think stuffed animals poop. Especially not diarrhea, so that's kind of concerning. <laughs> she may have stuffed the fox after. Oh, that's sad. She actually lived down here with a fox. Uh, another bathroom. This is the men's bathroom. This is why she had this locked up. Nothing of... Oh, oh! Really? It's one comic book? Hyperman and the Cow, June 1928. There is no way. Ten cents, okay, golden age, yeah, it's got the size, but then 1928 is like a good, almost 30 years before golden age. This thing predates Superman. This would be worth millions of dollars. I'll get 450 for it. <laughs> Drop it on the ground, who cares? Very fine condition now. Okay, well, not really what I was hoping for, especially since it's probably got a little bit of crazy person poop on it, but... We've almost got all the items. Containers usually house things I need. What do you have? Oh, a key. Okay, I might need that to get out of here, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I could uh, sell that. Whatever that is. Some kind of backpack? All right, I guess that's everything. I, I thought I would, oh, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to like ride it further down into the mine? Uh, I'll do it myself. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. Gotta get the golden toilet paper. That's what I'm talking about. What, what just pushed me? What was that? I have to assume that was the toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> Please don't have... Don't die. Don't die. Ah, crap. I completely forgot about the tractor. He's gonna be happy about that. He's always wanted a tractor. Hopefully, we could sell all this crap for more than $8,000. Oh, 
Come to think of it, I don't think we found $8,000 worth of stuff. This may have been a huge bust. You know, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. I feel like we're really getting close to something big. There has to be a reason for all the supernatural stuff in this game other than to make it funny. Like, I really doubt that the entire game is just finding stuff and selling it. There has to be an end, and I feel like we gotta be getting close to the end because looking at that map, I've already covered a lot of the locations that it had pinned. So if you guys wanna see more of this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, keep the series going, and Uncle Billy and I will return to hopefully actually make some money. I get the feeling we lost a lot today. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.